Here is a quick sketch, brothers and sisters, that I did of Nami, and um, hope you enjoy it. Uh, remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook if you want to see more artwork like this. Take it easy, nation. One Piece, Chapter 63. I Won't Die. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, and usual, am Jim, here to bring you another review on the tantalizing tale of One Piece. We uh, finished up Volume 7, and uh, now are opening up and diving into Volume 8. So we are just cruising right along over here, and the last chapter of the last volume kind of left us hanging. Um, the MH5 poison gas bomb or, or ball was fired. Uh, by Don Krieg, and uh, everybody kind of ran, hit the deck, put on gas masks. Uh, out from the smoke emerged Luffy, who, going into it, did not have a gas mask. He comes out of it having a gas mask on. Sanji also had one, and the reason Luffy had one is because Gin uh, gave his to him, threw it to him in, in the confusion, in the smoke, whatever. So Gin has inhaled this noxious or toxic poison, and it is pretty much keeling over at the end of it and about to die or looks as if he's about to die, and Luffy just kind of does this, Krieg! And you just know that really the shit is going to hit the fan in this one. So this was one of the chapters that I've been waiting for. Don Krieg has been a thorn in my side, a burr in my ass. I mean, he is, seriously, he's, just, he's the guy who pissed in my Cheerios this morning and every morning from probably about the last week or two because he just keeps hanging around. He's a despicable piece of garbage, and I've been waiting to have a chapter where he just got his ass handed to him. So this is a nice action-packed one, and it starts out with Don Krieg, right where we left off, of course, with um, you know basically, uh, again, gasping for air, gasping for his life. And um, and certainly, you know, Luffy and Sanji, you know, trying to see what they can do to uh, to make that not happen, you know, to make so he doesn't die. And uh, Don Krieg is basically just like you know that, that piece of crap, you know, worthless, worthless piece of garbage or whatever. And uh, and you know, Sanji and Luffy are pissed. What you know? And he's like, you know what? He lost sight of what was important. He he failed to obey orders, and ultimately, um, I can't trust him because of that. So it's actually like a mercy killing. I'm doing him a favor by killing him. You know. So some of the cooks that have come up and emerged from the from the galley now start talking amongst themselves, and they're like, hey. Don't you have that uh, that anti-poison or whatever? And he says, "Well, yeah, but it's something we say for you know for people that get food poisoning, right? Because <laughs> their food is is wildly known to not be very good." And uh, and he's like, "No, we're, we're, we save that for that." And he goes, "No, screw that, go get it." And so Sanji's yelling at them to to go get that. And then uh, and Red Leg is like, "Hey, you know, there's still some anti-toxin probably left in the gas mask. Get that on his face; it can't hurt." And, uh, and then, you know, get him to the upper deck, get him to start breathing, get the anti-poison that we have. They're going to try to save him, and it's all hands on deck. The fighting cooks are all working together, and Sanji's like, move now, you know. So now th that's kind of being taken care of, and as that, he's kind of getting ready to be carted off. Don Krieg's still, you know, talking his shit, you know, from across the, you know, from across on the other part of the uh, the, the deck, you know, that that's not broken. And, um, and there's, of course, this gap of water of maybe 40, 50 feet of water in between them. And he's still talking his nonsense. And then Luffy just goes and he's like, get better, Jin. He's like, and don't worry, I'll go, you know, I'll go nail him for you, right? So, Don, and then Jin, and Gin is like, oh, you know, he's like, no, just don't, don't go against Don Krieg. You can't win, you know? And he's saying this as he's dying, you know, and being brought away. So Don Cree goes and, and again starts talking his nonsense and basically says, you know what, if you're so eager to die, that's that's fine, you know. And and even the cooks are like, you know, don't don't do it, you know, don't don't go after him. You're playing into his trap. That's what he wants you to do, right? And uh, Luffy just kind of goes in this really cool, epic-looking panel where he's just kind of got these these just stone cold, I'm gonna kill you eyes. He's just like, I won't die. And normally he's kind of upbeat and like you know just sort of goofy and lost and you know that sort of. And this he's this is some serious shit now. Luffy, it, it, Krieg has gotten under Luffy's skin like he's gotten under mine. You know what I mean? Because I want to punch this fictional character right in the fucking throat. So Luffy goes and he just does this. I won't die. You know, and he just starts just fucking poof, just charging at Don Krieg. You know, running down the fallen mast that that is connecting these two pieces of of the deck. You know, of that of the fin as they called it. 
So he goes scampering down that, and Don Krieg's like, oh, you're, I'm just going to knock you into the water or whatever, you know, and obviously you can't swim, and he starts firing. <laughs> he starts firing his cannonballs again, his little torpedo things that hit the water and then explode. And Luffy's, you know, still coming towards him, but, you know, just kind of trying to shake off and dodge everything. Then he goes and he starts getting his shield to open up and does the spinning thing, and all these, all, all those stakes start coming out again, you know. I don't know how much ammunition this guy's got in this thing, but it's a lot because he starts firing them out at him. And, uh, and, and they start, you know, and they're coming at Luffy, and he's trying to dodge him and everything, and all of a sudden there's just kind of like a billow of smoke, you know, and you see him lost behind it. And even Sanji's like, oh, man, he's hit, you know, and you see Luffy is. He's hit. He gets nailed, you know. He just keeps on coming, though, you know. And even Don Krieg's like, man, this boy really wants to hit me, right? So right as he, you know, is about to get to him, he's able to, whoosh, you know, knock him back and, and get him, you know, get him back away and keep him away for, a, for another minute or so. And, uh, or another few seconds, I guess. This probably all happens in one very quick action scene, but, you know, it goes over a few pages, so it, it seems like it's the slow motion, you know, sort of scene. And Luffy then goes in, and he comes, you know, he starts to come at him, and he's like, you know, he, he goes, and even a monkey can learn or whatever. And, and Don Krieg makes some joke about how, yeah, but you're, you're lower than a monkey because, you know, you, you're, you're just the anchor boy, he calls him, you know. So Luffy is pissed, and he goes and just kind of jumps himself up in there. He's now close enough to Don Krieg, and he just jumps up, and he's just like, go moo, go moo, you know. And then Don Krieg's like, oh, yeah, you still want to come at me? He really wants to hit me, right? Okay, fine. So he goes, Hoom. And he's like Batman. He pulls this cape over him and he goes, yeah, go ahead and try to get through my porcupine cape, right? So this fucking guy's got a cape that has spikes on the thing, right? You know, and uh, as he flips this thing over him and he thinks he's protected and shielded behind it. And everybody's like, oh, they're gasping on the ship. Even the pirates, oh no, the porcupine cape, right? Luffy is not hearing that shit. My boy Luffy just comes at him and he just, and he's already reared up. Remember, go 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 go. And he just fucking, bullet, boom. And I mean, he just goes fist blood knuckles and everything right through this fucking cape and the great thing about it is the panel is drawn from the side you know so you see luffy's hand all bloody and knuckle coming into it and then you see the face of of krieg just smashed up and one of his eyes popping out you know because he just got jacked up right and uh, so Luffy winds up at one punch, you know, with the with the bullet man, just puts him down, and Krieg just fucking <laughs> flops back, and he's you know he's down, he's out, man. It's it, it, and for all you uh, younger viewers, you may have not seen the Rocky movies, but if you haven't, watch them, watch them on Netflix or Hulu or whatever you have to, because it's like when Rocky knocks out freaking you know Mr. T in Rocky Three. It's actually like when Rocky knocks out any of the guys in, in any of the movies that he's in, because it's always just this thunderous fucking. Boom! You know, and the guy is just done, right? So Don Krieg is laying there. Everybody is like, holy shit, he just went right through his, his porcupine cape. And, you know, he's crazy. How did Don Krieg get beat? And, and, I mean, even his pirates are like, I've never even seen Don Krieg go down to one knee, let alone Don Krieg, you know, get beat. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Don Krieg is, is, is a bitch. And the only reason that he's been able to get to where he's at is because of underhanded, shady tactics and because of having ruthless people like his demon man, Gin, to carry out his sadistic orders. So that's my two cents on it. But So we wind up having a little bit of an exchange where then it kind of goes and shows the cooks and everything on the uh, the Baratier and they're, you know, they're trying to fix up Gin and, you know, and they're, they're trying to, you know, obviously trying to get him kind of resuscitated, you know, and, and Sanji's just like talking with Red Leg and they have this quick conversation and it's basically like a, it's funny because it's like a parallel to their whole existence about how they fight with each other like cats and dogs. But at the same time, they have this like mutual respect for each other because Red Lake did go and give the ultimate sacrifice to save Sanji all those years ago. And even though he won't admit it, he's really a good person deep down inside. And Sanji has this undying loyalty for him because they wind up going and saying about how, man, you know, he is he is really loyal and he's really this and he's really fierce. And it's amazing how this this person who is smaller and weaker looking, you know, overcame this right and just kept coming at him right, relentless. And that's what, what I respect. That's what ultimately what I think Sanji and Red Lake see about him and, and they respect. And they, they, like I said, they have this brief exchange where they do talk about that. And it's kind of funny because they sort of chuckle to themselves about being hard-headed and keep coming at, you know, uh, and being stubborn. And, and, that's how, and that's how they both are. So uh, so then we go and, and we uh, we flash back over to, um, you know, to uh, Don Krieg laid the fuck out, you know. And Luffy is just like, you know what, I, I won't die. You know, I told you I wouldn't die. This is not my place to die, you know. And Luffy is, it's a cool looking scene because Luffy has pulled the spike out of himself, you know. And he's his blood rushing, dripping down his hand and the spike and everything. And you're just thinking, man, that's cool, you know. I kind of took this kid for like this goofy little, 
I don't know, man. This, he just, I, I just haven't taken him too seriously until now. And I think it was just pretty badass and showed a lot of heart and determination what he just did to Don Creek. Because Don, Don Creek clearly had the upper hand with all of his armor and his, you know, all his bullshit that he had. He was like Batman, right? You know. So, uh, not to get too long-winded in this review, but uh, it certainly was a very, very exciting chapter. Coming up towards the end over here, though, we have uh, you know one more kind of quick interaction and scene. Luffy says that about how it's not his place to die, and then Don Creed kind of goes and he's like, "Oh, really? Well, if it's not yours, then whose is it?" And he kind of gets up and he just you know gets up and has his shield that, that he's got on his on his arm. It's uh, actually on his left arm, and he kind of gets up and and he pulls Luffy up with it. And as he's got Luffy, and Luffy sprawled out on the shield, right? He kind of goes and he's just. Boom! You know, so he obviously fires something or fires a rocket, something to, to propel Luffy off of the shield, right? And in the last scene of it, Luffy is is being propelled up into the air, but kind of kind of like artfully dodges it at the same time, acrobatically like flips. And as he flips, kind of extends his rubber like leg out and just fucking whap! And I mean, just just catches him right under the jaw. It looks like of Don Creek. And I may not get all these action scenes perfectly. I look over them several times. Sometimes it's hard to follow exactly what happened in the order of how it happened. Many of you have had the benefit of seeing the anime and everything else up to this point. I have not. That's my two cents on it. And I thought it was really cool. And it was really the chapter I was waiting for because it was one of those, you know, you know, Don Krieg, you got knocked the fuck out. You know, and that that's my, uh, my take on it. So... Let me know what you think, Nation, in the comments down below. Uh, certainly feel free to uh, give me a thumbs up if you think I deserve it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, thank you for taking the, the journey with me, and, um, and it's going to be a wild ride, let me tell you that, brothers and sisters. At this point, brothers and sisters, I believe you know what to do, what the right thing is to do. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Why not?